everything has a society box. build up everything has its box so even if you see a group of people who are trying to be different they're still going to base their differences on society my dad is nigerian my mom is from dominica from the west indies they're from different countries but they didn't try to how can i describe it Ugh, with their culture my mother put into us that we always still had our own identity even though we were twins like she would still buy us the same things but at least change the color i really really appreciate coming back home because it's not really like living with my parents it's like my parents are my roommates my dad is very like if i stay out he's just like you didn't call me and let me know that he was gonna stay out i'm like really and a lot of uh, my collections and my work has been based and inspired by them as just a whole like this is what Somebody would look like if they were sitting on, in my mother's country or this is the type of shirt that my dad would wear. Uh, when I was young, I, I had a lot of identity issues because I would look in the mirror and I'd be like, I'm very weird looking. So a lot of anxiety came with that. Like, oh my God, did God make a mistake? Why am I not feminine looking enough? A lot of people relate being feminine to being weak or being submissive. And I felt like that was my biggest struggle. Like, I didn't want to submit. So I felt like the way to mask that would be a lot of excessive clothing. Since I was like 11, I would get the, oh my God, are you a boy or a girl? Before I would feel embarrassed about it, but now I've accepted it. I'm like, oh wow, I'm, I'm, I'm letting your mind run because you can't really figure it out. So it was very fat. Hills every day to school. I'm like, you bad. I'm about to go to basketball practice. <laughs> like around college, I started noticing her wearing a little more like, gap button, button ups. <laughs> I even went through a phase of shunning my femininity that I only shopped in the men's section for a while. Once I started just getting into more of my androgynous state of mind, mm -hmm. my body started reacting off of that as well. So, mm -hmm. Like my body has become less feminine, not masculine, but it's just right in the middle. Mm -hmm. so, Soul's a massive style. Like I can design clothes, but I'm very, I'm very minimal. Soul has to have her bracelets. She has to have her jewelry. She's a stylist. And that's the inspiration that I use in the design process. Like. Not just what I would wear, but like what would my sister wear? What would my close friends wear that I would design? What would they like about this piece? Is this your muses? Right. She, she's become my muse. Right. Actually, you become my muse. Mm -hmm. These are like priceless pants that like you can't see anywhere, find anywhere. I've never seen these before. Um, pockets are cool. I get to put my wallet in here. Um, one of my favorite parts are the legs. And the zipper in the back is just the detailing of the work is awesome. That's I sweet. wear as many pants as possible that I have that Dynasty makes. I, I just want all of my clothes to be brisé. These are a pair of camels that I did about a year and a half ago. And I love the hell out of them. You could tell that I love them. This was inspired by my dad. He loves his shirt. And I feel like that was one of my checkpoints. Like when my father was like, this is really nice. I really like it. I was, he's like, you should make 50 of these. I was like, I'm satisfied a lot of indigenous civilizations inspire what's going on right now whether it's piercings and tattoos if somebody was reading it in hieroglyphics it means my life will be transformed through the male energy i feel like all my tattoos have energy in them and they have power in them so when i got the unk around soul's name it was me symbolically saying that she would always be protected dynasty actually had her first fashion show i did the styling for the show but I focus a lot on the jewelry. My last name is Ogun, and in the Yoruba culture, he's the god of all massive iron and the massive metal. I wanted to learn how to make actual like jewelry from the metal and forge and bend and break. I kind of wanted to evolve the bangle. Merging and marrying the two, um, I kind of wanted to represent the feminine masculine energy. Square represents a, femi a masculine energy in terms of manifestation while the circle represents a feminine energy which is regeneration. When you stack them up they look really beautiful because you're getting a whole nother dimension. Well, I had to go through a lot of a lot of ups and downs with myself to really get into everything about myself that I love. The masculine side, the feminine side. You know that overly masculine guy is he probably doesn't get the whole picture because he only sees himself as a, a shell. And he's, as with the female who's overly, overly, I'm a woman, I'm a woman, I'm a woman, you, you're not getting what you're here for. Someone who is necessarily straight doesn't really come up to their parents like, hey mom, dad, I'm straight. So I never really felt the need to declare this thing. And I think by doing that, I also made it not taboo. The story I, I developed in my mind of how they would react, it was nothing like it was that. nothing like it. We didn't really have to hide much. Like there was a point when my first girlfriend was like living in the house with us. I know? think every adult should go back home at some point. You'll start to 
not only see your parents, but see your parents. Like I had, I got to see Josephine with Josephine. Right. Not seeing Josephine mm -hmm. as my mom. mom, seeing them in that light, it actually a lot of these childhood things that you carry on to your adulthood, it, get, it fades away. To go back home or just to even go back into yourself and realize these things about your parents and where your issues stem from, it, it actually allows you to heal. I'm able to grasp why they are the parents that they are and still, and not judge them. And that's an awesome thing to kind of grasp because you become, you become a master at life.